Ejidia Llano was a farmer in southwestern Colombia until armed rebels kidnapped her children to forcefully recruit them to fight in Colombia's war. She managed to get them back, but at a price. She was forced to leave her land and place of birth. I had no choice but to leave. They threatened to kill me because I had taken back the children. So their father took them to one city, and I went to another. Ejidia now lives in a shanty town called Altos de la Florida. Many displaced families have moved to these hills on the outskirts of Bogota. Basic services like electricity, water, and sewage system are scarce to non-existent, but rent is cheap. Colombia is only second to Syria in the number of internally displaced people, nearly six million at last count. One program aiming to help has United Nations officials working with local groups to take ownership of their plight. We look for the community to identify the challenges and needs, but at the same time come up with proposals to solve the problems. Ejidia takes a knitting class that helps mothers learn crafts that can later be sold. 40,000 people across 17 communities have benefited from these kinds of UN-sponsored projects. They include assistance in housing, education, local development and legal guidance. UN officials say the goal is to create programs that may start as assistance but become fully sustainable. An example of this is the primary school in Altos de la Florida, which was built with international aid in 2011 but was turned over to the local government this year. The main objective is to transfer these programs and projects to government institutions so that it can be sustainable in the future. The message of sustainability seems to have resonated in the community. Women like Jacqueline Escobar don't describe themselves as beneficiaries of aid, but of knowledge that empowers them. What UNHCR leaves us is something very special, the knowledge to defend ourselves, to know that if we have a problem, we can solve it and know that we have rights. Michelle Pegue, CCTV, Altos de la Florida, Colombia.